there, I'm Sarah Miga, your go-to real estate expert and broker of Miga Homes Luxury Real Estate. If you're new here and interested in all things real estate, be sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking that little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. I publish videos on a new real estate topic every week and you don't want to miss anything. With that being said, today's topic in my newest series, Best Return on Investment Renovations, looks at whether or not a finished basement will increase the selling price of your home. Now, this is a great question to discuss because in Michigan, a large majority of available homes have a basement. And this gives the potential to create additional living space without having to extend or expand your current home. If the home is built from 1990 on, it may already have roughed in plumbing for an additional bathroom or an egress window to allow for an additional bedroom. If it doesn't have these things, don't worry, you can still add them in. It will just cost a bit more money. Now, oftentimes when people are considering finishing their basement, it is for two main purposes. They either need additional space for the house to work for them, or they're looking for an additional recreation area to entertain their guests when hosting. If you are considering finishing your basement because you need to do so for the house to have enough space for your needs, then the only alternative to not finishing the basement would be to move and buy a home that already has the space available that you need. To determine whether it would be worth it in this scenario, you would need to see how much it would cost you to buy a new home that has the type of space you're looking for. Does it cost the same, less, or more than it would cost to add the space into your current home? Plus, if adding on the space eliminates your issue and you really love living in this home or this specific area, then it may not be worth going through the hassle of moving when you could just finish your basement and get to enjoy the benefit of it. Now, if you're considering finishing your basement because you want to add an additional recreation or entertainment space into your home, then this is where the biggest difference comes into play. This is because oftentimes basement can get quite elaborate and also very expensive. As you know, your finished basement can range in complexity and cost from just drywall, ceiling, and floors to elaborate signs that feel like a continuation of the home, including high-end features such as a home gym, movie theater room, playroom, office space, additional living rooms, wet bar, or second kitchen, and more. The range for a basic finished basement can be between $15,000 to $20,000, whereas each additional feature you choose can add on to the cost exponentially. A wet bar can cost anywhere from five to $9,000. A second kitchen, anywhere from 20 to 40,000. A home theater, five to 30,000. A home gym, eight to 20,000. A bathroom, six to 15,000, and so on. This means that you could spend $150,000 plus on finishing your basement, depending on how many features you decide to add in. With that being said, there are two main factors to consider when deciding whether the money you're investing into the space will be worth it in the end. What is a finished basement worth on an appraisal is factor number one. And the second is, what are buyers looking or willing to pay for extra at your price point? Let's start with the first factor. What is a finished basement worth on an appraisal? Well, in Southeast Michigan, below ground square footage is often calculated at a rate of $10 to $20 a square foot. So if you finish a thousand square feet, the value you would get on an appraisal for that square footage would be between ten dollars to $20,000. Now, if you add additional features, the appraisal will give other small adjustments for those features as well. Here are some examples of an appraiser's adjustment for additional rooms. Recreation room, $1,000. Fireplace, $1,000. Bedroom, $4,000. Full bathroom, $2,500. Half bathroom, $1,500. Home theater, $5,000. Wet bar, $5,000. Second kitchen, ten dollars to $15,000. Walkout basement, fifteen dollars to $25,000. Daylight basement, five dollars to $10,000. In a garden view home, $3,000. Please keep in mind that these numbers can vary slightly from appraiser to appraiser, but it at least gives you a general idea of what value would recoup compared to the expense incurred. Now keep in mind, if you're not selling your home for a long time, then you also get to use the space for that time and also potentially will have increased equity in the home too. So you may not get a dollar for dollar return when selling on an appraisal, but if home values have increased and homes with finished basements sell for more money because buyers desire them more, then there may still be a net earning in the end when you go to sell the house. That leads me into our second factor, 
which is what buyers are looking for or willing to pay extra for at your price point. If you're in a market where homes are hard to sell, then perhaps having an awesome finished basement might help you move the property quickly when you sell. Or if you own a million dollar plus home, a buyer is expecting certain amenities. Then it would make more sense in that case to not just finish the basement, but to finish it with features that are desirable to many buyers. In addition, although the appraisal value may not accurately reflect everything that you've added into your home, if a buyer walks in and absolutely falls in love because of the emotions that they experience, thinking about the life that they're gonna live in your home, you may get multiple interested buyers bidding against each other, and then they may be willing to pay more than the home is worth with additional cash out of pocket. This is something you cannot 100% plan for, but if you do own an expensive home, choosing popular finishes and features will definitely help you down the line. On the other hand, if what you want to add in is considered an over-improvement for your price point or area, then you may want to consider making a move and buying a home with the basement that is already finished. This would include many of the features that you're looking for because you never want to be the most expensive home in a subdivision. I hope I've given you a lot to think about and that you've learned a lot from today's episode. Please subscribe to my channel today as I'll be releasing new videos every week and tune into next week's episode, Is Having a Sunroom Really Worth It? As always, if you think you may want to make a move in the next year, give me a call and set up a consultation today. I create custom moving plans for all of my clients up to a year in advance. And don't worry, if I'm not able to personally assist you, I am well connected and can refer you to a similarly qualified agent anywhere in the world. In fact, if you haven't yet had a chance, please check out another one of my videos on why you should get a realtor referral for an agent when relocating. That will teach you all about how realtor to realtor referrals work and what to expect when you ask me for one. You can also check out my other series on relocation, selling a home, buying a home, new construction, downsizing, buying and selling simultaneously, and more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.